All right, today I'm going to try wet laying forged carbon, forged, forged, on this piece of diamond plate that I use as a bed floor and exo truck. I'm starting with this because it's a high traffic piece that if it doesn't turn out real well, I'm not gonna be a crybaby about it. Uh, the supplies I'm using are some Composite Envisions chopped carbon, various sizes, half inch, one inch, two inch. I'm adding in some basalt, uh, I think it's basalt. It's just because I like the bronzy color and make it different. UV resistant epoxy. I have the peel ply, which will go on top of the mix, which will actually touch it and try and lay it flat. Uh, this release film, it's, I got the poorest stuff, I don't know, I'm just trying to keep as much epoxy in as I can so that it isn't dry on me. <laughs> Again, this is my first time, complete trial and error here. Uh, I might go with poor, less non-porous next time. The bag, just uh, for now, because it's a flat piece, I got just some cheap polyethylene bagging film. Uh, the tape to tape up both ends. Uh, the, I got a little resin pot just in case I use too much epoxy. Again, no idea what's going to happen. I did leak test it. It works good. Uh, regular aluminum. Uh, bagging vacuum bag adapter thingy. A cheap ass Amazon vacuum pump. Scissors, paintbrush, usual crafts and gloves because I don't want epoxy over my fingers or fibers in my fingers. Oh, I forgot about this stuff. Bleeder fabric or air, air, uh, breather, 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 shit. That will go on top of the release film and that will let the air travel over the piece and soak up any excess resin that goes through this. So to recap, it's mold slash piece I'm skinning, epoxy, I'm gonna lay down a nice wet coat. I'm gonna sprinkle this on it, which is a little bit different than you do a twill. So, aluminum, epoxy, carbon, peel ply, release film, Breather in the back and apply vacuum. Fingers crossed, I get something that looks like it's been skinned in forged fabric tomorrow. Two hours later. All right. Finally, got the bag to seal. Create a vacuum. Pulling pretty even a resin into the cloth. Pull the pump off. It's, it's so far, I know cheapy pumps doing pretty good. Pulled near perfect vacuum. 20, uh, 27. I don't know why it's not focusing. 27 and a half or so inches of mercury. I guess there was enough resin because it's pulling up through there. I had a little bit of a problem with the video I recorded. It ended up going two hours long because I had uh, a lot of trouble getting this bag to go airtight. Um, yeah. <laughs> so I ended up having to make a new bag and then it went, it sucked down very quickly. So I know it's working this time. There's a couple little pinholes in the tape over here that I got fixed up, but you didn't get to see me lay the, char lay the carbon down or the epoxy or nothing because it I accidentally deleted the whole video, which is in four pieces, and my memory filled up, and it was two hours long. 
So I'll get you on the next one. But here's where we're at. Uh, I shut the pump off and because I don't want to leave it running. But it seems to be holding vacuum. I'm going to come down and check it again in a few minutes. Well, here we are. Next day, about 22-ish hours later. Just took it out of the bag. Uh, so, not real sure what to expect. Breather film. Fuel fly. And somehow, no way to last to get that off. Here's where we're at after the fuel fly. A few inches later. All right, here we are taking the fuel fly off. It's sticky. Yeah, I gotta work at it a little bit. So I'm nervous about pulling it up off the edge of this. Uh, there's a couple little dry spots, but it's not terrible because it's flat. So I'm not worried about it. Uh, you can, well, the camera is not so great, but you can see the dull finish. The texture came out nice. Uh, the, most of the diamonds really showed up nice. So I'll finish getting this fuel pile off and give it a quick sand and a finished coat of epoxy. Alright, I got fuel pile off. I gave it a light scuff. I'm about to mix epoxy that I got warmed up and uh, give this a finished coat maybe. We'll see how it goes. Y'all can watch from up there. Yeah. Yeah. Good. I'll this back to clear. I feel like it's mixed. Probably is. Oh, 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 where's the magic? Where is the magic? out. Oh, it's taking forever to brush it in. I think I'm actually going to bust that squeegee here. Oh shit. This brush. One minute, 37 seconds later. 
really gets the bubbles up. Secure. I'm still a curing process. Obviously, it doesn't take nearly as long. Getting the bubbles out. Remember to get the bubbles out? getting heavy. She wants to know what's more interesting than her. Besides everything. We'll carry on later when it dries more.